What is up my magical moonbeams? Today we are running over to GameStop because at the moment Nate is out of town. Dropped him off at the airport the other day. He gets back tomorrow, but I want to see if I can surprise him with his chase poles from both Twilight Masquerade and from Shrouded Fable. So per the recommendation of one of you, I'm gonna get an ETB of both. And I think I think GameStop is gonna be my only option. So let's head into GameStop and see if they have what I am looking for. I mean, that was very quick and simple. They had both right next to each other. So I literally grabbed two that were right next to each other. Now let's go home and see if we can happily surprise Nate with his chase cards, the Cassiopeia Alt Art and the Greninja Secret Illustration Rare. So see what we can find. I have to say like one of the most difficult things about these sets is when you go and you try to explain like a secret illustration rare versus a special illustration rare. There's no difference. Literally it's not a secret rare anymore. It's a special illustration and then you have your uh, alternative rare. So you have the SIRs, the SA. The different amounts of terminology that you have to know when you are collecting these cards is genuinely insane and I am learning as I go but I definitely will flip the secret and the special illustration rares all the time so be patient with me because uh this is gonna take a while. I'll get it figured out someday but you know can't say when that day will be. So back at home and I now realize the mistake that I made. While I'm ecstatic to have both of these ETBs, I could have avoided not only the price, but also all of the additional items that come in the ETBs if I had just gotten the booster bundle. But go figure, I completely forgot and I ended up with two ETBs and now additional uh, damage counters, poison markers, burn markers, all of the markers that I really did not need and I still wonderfully ended up with. But there's nothing I can do about that. Plus side, I can flip this over to the page that has all of the cards in it that we are looking for. The Twilight Masquerade, we are looking for this awesome Greninja EX. Our special illustration rare, which, you know, it is a very cool card. And I think what I'm going to do, and this is just for the fun of it, I think I'm going to open both of these up and then I will alternate between Twilight Masquerade and Shrouded Fable. So Shrouded Fable, the one that we are going after is the special illustration rare Cassiopeia. So I think that'll be really fun as well. I like having these. It is a great way to learn what the different stars mean, the gold stars versus the white stars versus the amount of stars. So like all of it, you get answers for the rarity of the cards. So if you've ever wondered, that's how you know. So we have our little Petrant. Here's our code card from our Shrouded Fable. And then we have the Ogre Pawn and our Twilight Masquerade code card. Beautiful cards. Honestly, I do also, that's upside down. I do really like the sleeves that come with both of these. I think these are such pretty colors. And then of course we have our energy bricks. Who doesn't love energy bricks? Our dice. Beautiful. And of course we have these, our little dividers. Very cute, very pretty. And then our fire and burn markers, all of that. Okay, so we're gonna go in here and we're just gonna start stacking these one on top of the other. No rhyme or reason other than to kind of keep it pretty evenly distributed. Let me grab my sleeves because I know I left them out here. I didn't, I had actually put them away, but I've got the sleeves, I've got the packs that we're gonna be opening and let's just jump right into it. So we're gonna be starting with Twilight Masquerade. I don't know what our luck or our, I don't know what the pull rate really is for these either. So this is gonna kind of be a test for all of that. And then we have a Zapdos, Zapdos? I've been pulling a lot of Zapdos out of Twilight Masquerade. I'm not even surprised anymore. We got Shrouded Fable, another really good one. I'm sure there are other cards that we're missing from these sets and that these are not like the only cards that we're missing, but these are like the major cards that we are missing. And there's that Weavile. We got the Cassiopeia, but not the one we are looking for. We got another Dangerous Laser and another Duskull. Very cool. Okay, well, we got the Dusknoir too, but the wrong one. So we have 
two really good cards right right from the jump. Let me just double check and make sure I didn't pass over like an Eevee or an Evolution. Nope, I think we're okay. So we can go ahead and sleeve these two. So we'll go ahead and sleeve the Dangerous Laser and the Duskull right like that. And then we'll go straight back into Twilight Masquerade. It's always really quiet when Nate is not in town. Like, it, everything just seems kind of boring. And so I have to find ways to entertain myself. And to entertain myself, I have to try to find his cards that he's looking for. Because you know what? What else am I going to do? So I can just open up Pokemon cards the entire time he's gone. And next thing you know, I'm going to be on my way back to the airport to pick him up. And then we've already got plans to go to our favorite flea market in Ohio pretty soon. Like we're thinking that's going to be a relatively soon trip that we're going to make because we haven't been there all year. And that's one of our favorite things to do every year is to go to the flea markets in Ohio. So want to get that done before it starts getting cold because it's not as fun to walk around outside in the cold as it is in the summer. So we've got Chansey, Tangela, Clefairy, a Shanks, Iron Bundle, Festival Grounds, a Florgis, another Chansey. Oh, that Diplin is so cute! I don't think I've seen that one yet. Oh, isn't he just the cutest little thing you've ever seen? Little Festival lead, do the wave. I love that. That's so cute. All right, we'll go ahead and sleeve this little guy up because he's just so precious. Put that right there, we'll go right back into Shrouded Fable. We're doing pretty good, I think. I'm liking, I'm liking, I'm liking what we're getting. I'm liking what we're pulling. We got a Genesect, Hypno, Crobat, Binding Mochi, a Cedra, and a Petrin EX. I feel like the Petrin EX is becoming a very common card to pull in this set. So if you are looking for a Petra and EX, keep, keep looking. He will, he will find you. Don't you worry. <laughs> Don't you worry. That Petra is a lot easier to pull than you think it is. At least, at least for me. I know I've talked about this before that like the, the chances of you pulling a card that I want are probably greater than me pulling a card that I want. And so like, if you don't want the Petra you're probably going to be finding a lot of them. If you do, it might be harder for you to come by and that's usually I don't know how it works like that but it just it works like that and we just accept it and we keep opening the packs because honestly when you think about it I know you can go the route of purchasing all of the cards that you want but there is something about opening the packs that just make it so fun and you just want to keep pulling and you want to try to get it on your own you don't want to, I don't know, I kind of think like just purchasing it, yeah, it saves you money in the end, but the here and now is what we're looking for. Like, I want to get this card on my own, not just purchasing it. I want to be able to go through, I want to flip through these packs, and I want to be able to pull that card that I've been looking for. It definitely hits different when you pull it. So let's see, let's see if we can make this happen. I'm hopeful realistic, hopeful. You never know what's going to happen. So we got Shrouded Fable. I think we've got two, four, six, maybe nine packs left. So not a whole lot, but oh, there's our first Eevee. Put that up there. Slide those down a little bit. We got a crow. There's the Sylveon. All right, now we're getting the ones that we're wanting. <laughs> Not like the perfect one that we want, but those are still very important cards. All right, back to Twilight Masquerade. I don't know if anybody else is having like the allergy issues that I'm having, but this uh, end of season, usually around the fall, especially because I am allergic to hay. And because we kind of live in the country, like we're close to all of the farmland. And so a lot of that stuff is getting blown up in in the air and man it's it's been kind of rough like the allergies have been rough lately all right we got a hearth, hearth flame mask hearth flame hearth flame mask yes i don't know why that word is so difficult it's a hearth got it sleeved up <laughs> like what am i doing 
I see the allergies just like it it makes you feel like your head is just filled with cotton and you just don't know what is happening anymore and so you're just kind of floating day to day <laughs> trying to get things done but most of the time you're just like I'm ready I'm ready for bed I'm done don't want to don't want to go through anymore and then the season is over and we're into winter and you know maybe you've got allergies to dust there's no getting away from it I've just accepted that allergies are going to be my day-to-day -day at this point and you know I've again you just accept we got a survival brace we accept it we move on we take the allergy medicine make sure you're stocked up on tissues Kleenex whatever you use and you just get back out there. You can do this. I have to tell myself that every morning when I don't want to get up because my allergies are so bad. You can do this. It is one day, take it day by day. It'll get better, always does. And you know, cause it's done it in the past and you know, based on what it has done in the past, you'll be fine. You'll get through this season. That next day will come. The allergies will settle down. I mean, they have to, right? <laughs> it sounds so bad, but you're just like, you hold on to that knowledge that there's going to be times, more days than, uh, more days that you won't be suffering from, from allergies than you will be suffering from allergies. I just have to remind myself that the allergies are just temporary. They're, it's all temporary. <laughs> The bad days are temporary, the allergies are temporary, the colds are temporary, but life goes on, you know, and it kind of stinks that life doesn't like slow down for you. We got an okie dokie. It doesn't slow down for you in the sense that you have no time to get better. You just have to push through it. And sometimes that's, that's all you can do. That's all, all anybody can ask you. Just push through it, make it, make your way through it. It'll be over before you know it, and then you'll be back into those good days, gorgeous weather, you know, where you're happy to be outside, <laughs> where usually the weather does not do you any service. It just kind of, you know, it's just there. The weather's just there. All right, last shrouded fable, guys. I don't think, I don't think this is going to work out, but you know what? We got some really cool cards, and then maybe next time I will be smart enough to get the booster bundles and not the actual booster box or the elite trainer box the ETB if you will well, we got a horsey fracture hypno decidui we got a Colrus's tenacity academy at night toxicroak and a copra jaw this was actually probably one of the worst ETBs I have ever opened I say it's the worst it's not bad but the number of really good pulls to the number of packs that we opened, the math's not mathing today. <laughs> and that's okay. Again, this is just another one of those days. We accept this day, we move on to the next one, and it will get better. But I will talk to you guys next time. Have a wonderful rest of your day. Bye!